My name is Juan Davis. I'm the director of production of New Media at KCT PBS Television here in Los Angeles. And uh, my project is Departures. I would not say that we are a traditional um, uh, shop covering arts and culture. A critic, for example, that would go to an exhibition and write his or her own sort of view or perspective on this. Uh, I think that new media can afford us different, uh, uh, more participatory ways of looking at culture and the intersections of arts and culture with the daily life of, of people. Departures is an online documentary about different neighborhoods in Los Angeles. And what we have tried to do with Departures is sort of take uh, these different stories that come from different perspectives, that come from you know, the people that live there, the experts that know about this area, and sort of give them equal ground and equal importance so that it can, like a mural, become sort of a collective narrative. In new media, stories um, can be told in so many different ways. And the user becomes an, uh, uh, an ingredient, a participant, in trying to put the story of this neighborhood together. Each neighborhood is composed of an interactive panorama. Um, the panorama is broken into eight s sections. And each section you can navigate left and right, um, and you're going to find uh, this sort of uh, collage of, of the street. Within the panorama, you're going to find hotspots. These hotspots can be either people or places. And uh, when you click on the hotspot, um, the window is going to open, and you're going to find a video portrait. Uh, or a slideshow, depending on, on, on what it is. And you're going to have audio that is related to either this person or this place. What we were trying to do was to meld or join um, what would be considered an offline experience, like a real physical experience of walking down in a neighborhood and meeting people, and what it would be to uh, have that experience online. We started uh, in Boyle Heights, and we took First Street in Boyle Heights from Boyle to Chicago. As we discovered Boyle Heights, uh, we built Boyle Heights, basically, and that sort of allowed us to create sort of a template that we have followed from then on. We went to Watts to do Central Avenue, uh, then we did Eagle Rock uh, Boulevard in Eagle Rock, um, and uh, we did our Magnus Opus so far, which has been the 52 miles of the LA River. We're working on one in Venice, we're working on one in Chinatown, and uh, we're also going to do one in Compton. Web Stories uh, was a multimedia online series uh, about arts and culture in Southern California. And we tagged it cultural journalism in the Southland. We always invited a partner or an expert or a community partner to work with us to develop and produce the content. As part of, of Web Stories, um, we built Departures. I have thought a lot about the difference um, between producing a linear uh, one channel, one video, one channel video documentary about the LA River, let's say, or about Boyle Heights, and doing something like this. Um, and I think that the big difference is, uh, it's, of course, you have uh, the, the, the fact that you're sort of tied to a linear narrative that you cannot escape. Uh, but I think that the also, also the, the, uh, an important aspect of it is that when you're tied to a linear narrative, you're tied to a point of view. The educational uh, programs around departures, I think, are very important. Um, because a, a lot of the areas that we're working with and a lot of the neighborhoods that we're concentrated on um, are neighborhoods that normally have been under-resourced to, to a certain degree. And we are trying to build a multimedia literacy program around the production of departures that has sort of two areas. One of them is the teaching of multimedia production, and the other one, the teaching of uh, the history of the place and the neighborhood that they're in. Um, and then they get merged together, and each student is um, uh, becomes a producer of different hotspots that collectively, between all the students, create sort of a, a collective student narrative of the neighborhood. We have a curriculum um, that 
has been developed uh, that has 14 workshops. And within these 14 workshops, uh, we sort of have broken down all the production elements of the series. And we take the students into the same process that the producers of the series go through to, you know, to produce the, the departures. We're working with Venice High, for example, and we're going to be working with 60 students there, of 11th grade 16 students, for a period of three or four months. Uh, and what we're going to do is um, have a selection of hotspots and people and places that the students um, vote on, and then the professional production is going to go and actually produce these hotspots with them so that they can be integrated into the final project. It is very important to see, as journalists, as producers, our work not as a drive-by, uh, but rather as a two-way street. We are trying to build a, a national network around the series where um, there would be cities uh, in the network, and within each city there will be neighborhoods, and theoretically and hopefully uh, different PBS stations would take on the project and they would cover their own neighborhoods and create this sort of social network around the neighborhoods in their cities. Departures is a very deceiving project to a certain degree because it, it is so multimedia rich, right? The last uh, Departures LA River has over six hours of content if you look at all the video and if you hear all the interviews. Um, but really, the, the, the resources, the main sort of infrastructure that we built at the beginning um, was where a lot of the money was spent, you know, to build this sort of this uh, platform to hold the series. After that, uh, with very little money and very little resources, we have been able to sort of replicate the experience from area to area. And only after we had created three installments, um, Boyle Heights, Watts in Central Avenue and Occidental College, we got a little bit more money through a grant from the Adobe Foundation to continue the series. Uh, but we're not talking about a lot of money. You know, a long time ago when photography was in infancy, you had to stand up one minute or two minutes, depending on the light, so that the plate could, you know, capture your, your light. And uh, in a way that, uh, that, that forced the subject to really be aware uh, of, of the act of being photographed. And that's one of the things also that we're doing with the people that we interview when we do these video portraits, where we tell them, could you please stand two minutes still in front of the camera? If we see the community that we work with as collaborators, then they're going to behave in a different way with us. It's almost a love letter, a love letter to the city to, to, to try to discover ways in which you can belong in it. And um, that is my way to relate to LA. It's my way to relate to the people. And hopefully it's a way to invite others to do the same.